I just came from Africa uh, um, two months ago and it's fun meeting friends and getting together. I don't know actually what's gonna happen here, yeah, but it's really good. It's uh, good uh, every time to time to change uh, something in our life, to go uh, new uh, places we haven't gone before. Yeah, that's good. Where are you going today? I'm um, yeah. Angoshi <laughs> Beach. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And the and the beach. And, and how do you feel? How do you feel? Okay, she has smile. I am very relaxing. Yes. <laughs> My name is Susan. I am the general manager in Ames. When we left home, we left many things behind. Family, friends, familiar places. So when you come to the new land, you look for other people who look like you, who think like you, who do the things in the same way as you. But remember, this is not enough. It's not good to be too comfortable. What we're doing in this camp is to, in fact, help you make friends now, not just from people who share those home ties, but across. And what you will find is that many people are not that different. So I hope you enjoy this experience, and uh, good luck. My name is Malika. I am uh, from Eritrea, East Africa. I came to Australia in 1993 as a refugee. You don't see the difference here. You just see what is common between them. When you see the women uh, practicing or, uh, you know, like playing together, uh, painting, the things which are common is a lot more than the differences. I met many nice uh, mates here, so like friendship, hand in hand. And it's a very nice uh, pressed uh, painting outside and beautiful. Yeah. And also our country is not many land, but like, we now have experience like a big land outside and painting. Mm. Yes, Australia is a pretty big country. I asked my husband whether he allowed me to come here. and. Yeah, 
he gave me the permission, I really like it. I feel more comfortable and more happy and more free <laughs> without uh, any, any restriction for husband or for man. And I hope uh, my group is in Shiazu. This is the things that I want to know about Shiazu, whether it is a kind of massage or a kind of uh, spot, I don't know. Good. You stand comfortable. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a really good program for women because they're all from different country, different life, and have, everybody have different story. We play together, dancing together, laughing together, oh, fantastic. It's my first time to be here and to have a view at the ocean because we don't have oceans in you know, Africa. It's great, it's fun. I've never seen such a beautiful place before. It's a very uh, lovely feeling to see these women so happy and, ex and it's not only happiness, but they are learning a lot about cultures uh, and, and uh, about uh, different uh, views. If, if they are not given the chance, to know about each other, then they won't appreciate each other. Uh, for example, I'm from Africa. If we don't sit and talk and uh, exchange ideas, you won't know who I am. Hey, uh, my name is Mai. I come from Vietnam. This uh, Today is the first time I'm sitting with uh, many people and in another country called Australia. I'm Sasha. <coughs> I'm from Lithuania. I have been in Australia for one year. Um, I'm Oha, I'm from Iraq, and uh, I've been in for two years, and I'm so glad to be in this camp. What today's session is about is basically a conversation. We're going to have some discussions around things like racism. Maybe you guys could share what your experiences of racism have already been. I lived one year and three months in Brisbane. And I left Brisbane just to run away from the people. You feel everyone there don't want you, don't like you. Even my children, they suffered in school because they are Muslim. I really shocked in Australia about this. I never imagined that I will face all this in here. It's different because I thought the first time I think, oh, we're going to talk about like women's rights or economic or, you know, politics, you know, the stress stuff. But it's more fun now. I'm feeling relaxed. Oh, and then I think, oh, I'm going to got like brainwashed or something. But now it's cool. It's better, you know, like more enjoy. I love drama. Cam Camel, she's a teacher of drama and we, um, we have a wonderful group. Very angry. Very angry. <laughs> we do a trust game. We have to close our eye and walk, um, follow them. You can touch now touch the tree. Now you can touch the tree. Oh, I got there. it. <laughs> what I wanted to accomplish is, first of all, friendship. Uh, also knowing about the different cultures and um, for Australia as a multicultural uh, country to appreciate, you know, what we have. I want to introduce you to the coffee ceremony of Ethiopia and Eritrea. And this is our traditional uh, coffee ceremony where it is a very important social event. It's a social event because um, women can pass, you know, their, info, uh, their knowledge about culture, about different skills to the next generation.
because this gives us a chance to break the barriers of religion, of culture, of uh, uh, you know where you came from and so on. I think these women will remain friends whenever they see each other. They will just feel as if they knew each other for a long period of time. And also uh, it's an experience that they can keep for uh, the rest of their lives. That's the fantastic thing I've ever done in Australia. The most fantastic thing. It helped us to um, relax and to feel uh, uh, to, together and uh, to feel uh, uh, like children <laughs> and to explore uh, uh, ourselves. And, uh, oh, I will dream about everything we've done here, yeah, dinner, breakfast, lunch, party, coffee ceremony. I want to stay more. Yeah. I want to go back to <laughs> Now we are starting bonding. So a little bit more time. Frankly, I enjoy. I would like more and more to meet all these people. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yes. Okay. <laughs>